Students who have an inquiring mind, students who like arguing, students who pick up a paper and read about the Lisbon Treaty and ask the question, well, how does that work? A student who is interested in society has to be interested in law. One gets up in the morning, uh, one has one's breakfast. What one eats is regulated by, 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 by law, by, by what the laws regarding food. Uh, one goes out uh, to, to work, getting there, and all regulations relating to traffic. One gets into work and the questions that are then raised are what are one's rights in the workplace and, and so the day goes on and, and really everything that one interacts with ha has a law dimension to it. So why not study that very subject which is behind everything uh, that, that we do. Corporate governance is a particularly relevant area in the last, in the last year or two as a result of the banking crisis. Environmental law is a good example of, 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 an, of an area of law that probably 20, 30 years ago uh, people would sort of ask you, environmental law, what, what's that? Whereas now certainly law students become uh, very closely acquainted with it from an early stage. Contract law is just essential really to any commercial life. First year students will come in and they will consider, well, what's the difference between uh, an ordinary promise they would enter into, a promise to meet somebody um, for a drink later on in the evening, and then a promise which will have contractually binding effect. Um, if they take a taxi into town um, and they get out at the other end, is there a binding contract to pay a certain amount of money? Uh, if they haven't agreed the amount of money in advance, how do you know how that works? Well, in my research, I've focused a lot on the people who come to Ireland, for example, seeking asylum from persecution, and also people who have been trafficked into the country against their will for the purposes of labour exploitation or sexual exploitation. I look at the international human rights standards pertaining to those issues, and I try to feed those international standards into how these should be shaping the law uh, domestically on the victims of trafficking, for example. One tends often to think of a law, maybe uh, one becomes a lawyer and practices in the courts, and certainly a lot of our graduates do that. But uh, in fact, uh, a law degree is, is a great degree for any student to have in, in, the, in the workplace. Well, when I ticked the box to do law, I never expected or planned that I would have a career in human rights law. Human rights law says so much about how our society should be shaped. It gives one skills of, of analysis, gets one used to language. Things that are so valuable and so necessary in today's world. A lot of them know right from the outset that they want to be lawyers. Other students um, see it as something which will teach them skills that they can use in any other career. And I think it's something we do well in UCD.